almost there. Hey, yeah. Blake Wally, the eccentric. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, you inserted this? Oh, we can always edit this part out, right? Maybe. Or not. Or if we have YouTube problems. We'll find out. All right. Hello, everybody. Brian Engelman here with The New American Media, joined with Blake, the eccentric Wally, also of The New American Media. Indeed. So, Blake, uh, we're, we're here at the Bundy Ranch. We've been getting interviews from the people that were involved in the near riot the other day that you have probably seen online. People, as you can hear, are honking, driving past, showing support. Thank you. Man, that couldn't have been planned any better. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate that. <laughs> Just kidding. No, I mean, this is, this is really happening. You see uh, Gadsden flags. You see American flags. You see Oath Keepers out here. And people are concerned about it. We can't get to right now. But, yeah, we were looking at stuff right here. Where's our uh, yeah, county sheriff? We got uh, all, just everywhere. We're uh, gra graffiti going on. So, yeah, a lot, a lot of support out here. It's been really great so far. Um, and some uh, new developments, I suppose, since we're here. This is, uh, you know, uh, Friday. I uh, heard rumors that they were uh, shutting down cell phone towers. I can't quite confirm any of that. We were uh, able to uh, uh, broadcast just fine and uh, get out in social media. So we can't confirm that. Everything's cool on that regard. Haven't had any run-ins, uh, fortunately. And I'm kind of curious in that maybe part of the reason why is there's been some new developments in the story. Uh, Infowars, uh, Drudge Report have been really... Uh, uh, putting these uh, new stories out that are going viral, uh, having to do with uh, especially Harry Reid, senator here, uh, perhaps was uh, involved, him and his son Rory Reid, involved in some sort of $5 billion uh, solar energy type of uh, project that they wanted to deal with in the land. So this whole thing about saving desert tortoises uh, might just be not really in, in, based in reality. We've heard stories about uh, possible resources, whether it's water, uh, also so uh, maybe fracking was involved. Uh, they definitely, the federal government definitely wants this land for whatever purpose. We're not really sure. We're still digging into that story. But if maybe that sheds some light on maybe perhaps why BLM is uh, backing off a little bit. Maybe they've uh, we've struck a nerve. Apparently, I've even heard rumors that there were documents uncovered linking this directly to the Reeds, and then that the uh, BLM were trying to remove that from the website. I'm not 100 percent on that, but you know, stay tuned on you know Drudge Report, Infowars doing a great job covering all that stuff so you go check that out uh bundy ranch hashtag on twitter uh latest developments here um i don't even uh yeah so yeah cool stuff so anyway yeah we're here uh it's been great uh, a lot of a uh, lot more people today uh, all kinds of media so it's been really uh, exciting to be out here uh, brian's been getting some great interviews as well and yeah, I, I just I just wanted to add as well. If you can if you can see out out here in the back, uh, I mean it, it's it's a very friendly, hospitable group of people that have been donating tons of drinks, tons of food, pizza, hot dogs. Just, just yeah. Thank you to all the people that that couldn't be here that, that donated uh, for all your support and just just to have you know some food and water for everybody out here in the desert. Uh, it's been awesome. So thank you guys for uh, all that you do. And yeah, if anybody else can make it out here, that would be uh, awesome. We're always uh, the, the strength in the numbers here, uh, showing this uh, you know our support for this uh, whole cause here that's going on right here, uh, history here in uh, Bunkersville, Nevada. So, anyway. So, we're going to keep following the story. Obviously, we can't stay here forever because as independent journalists, we got other things to do. We got bills to pay. And we ain't hawking any books or any subscription fees to you yet. If you want to donate money, actually, we don't have any. Yeah, no, we don't even. We're set up for that, even if we wanted to, but... Yeah, we don't even have that set up. But, right. um, you know, we, we can't be here the whole time. Maybe you can. Maybe if, if, if we're gone today, maybe you can come tomorrow. They're hoping for thousands of people to come out over the weekend. Saturday will obviously be a great day for that. Rally, I believe, yeah, and I want to say 9. Let's I, say, I heard let's I heard 9 a.m. 9 a.m., and if you're in Vegas, it's about an hour and a half drive. Uh, there is some one-lane construction area, so keep that in mind. So, yeah, if you want to make it up to the rally, yeah, get up bright and early, 9 a.m., and, uh, yeah, if you want to show your support, that would be uh, awesome. So for all of you, you out know, there. Anyway, we're just, we're just trying to get to the bottom of this story. We, we don't understand why there was such a quick escalation of violence. You, you've all seen that video where the attack dogs were unleashed, when tasers were fired, when people were getting thrown to the ground. 
it, it, it just doesn't make a lot of sense when things don't. Question. Yeah, we just wanted to talk to the, you know, people just want to talk, talk to the BLM and just ask simple questions. And then they just act like total thugs and they start tasering people. It's like they're just asking a simple question. You know, why, what was some of the construction equipment they brought out here or a dump truck? Uh, I won't get into all that side story, but they. Well, were just, no, no, no. Just, just you've, you, you've already taken a lot of the cattle. Why do you have a backhoe? Are you burying the bodies? You know, like, what the heck is this all about? It just doesn't really seem to add up and we've talked with multiple members of the Bundy family and they're saying we want to pay we have paid and they've sent checks back they they won't accept payment we're trying to pay the, the local people here in Nevada this isn't federal land so we're not paying the feds then the feds are coming in and like like uh, she was just saying a second ago Oregon plates well, what are they doing from Oregon down I, I said is that a normal thing it's no order of Utah that would at least make a little bit more sense but uh, yeah you know if you want to pay taxes that's right you want to benefit your local community that money goes to help you know fund you know, schools and, and everything that the local community would, would want but uh, instead they want the money all just to go to some you know federal bureaucracy that acts like a bunch of thugs and we don't know what they're doing and they won't ask simple questions you know i don't, I don't blame them and so they're not really uh helping their case by uh acting the way they have been uh but fortunately yeah we haven't seen anything uh recently and hopefully it stays this way we can keep the peace doesn't need to be anything uh any reason for escalation and that's uh yeah, hopefully it just it stays that way and and one, one of the one of the the, the big concerns to wrap this up here was that the you know the sheriff the local sheriff isn't really coming to the aid or defense the the governor is you know might have said a couple good things but he's not uh, declaring any any jurisdiction over anything, and, and there's really nobody standing up for these people right now. And you know, finally, the senator's doing okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, we've got uh, you know, Dean Heller has made some yeah good comments. So has uh, Brian Sandoval. Harry Reid is uh, yeah. I don't even want to get into his head. So I don't know, <laughs> but I mean, yeah, we do definitely want to uh, you know see us you know stand up for the state of Nevada here. We don't want you know feds intrusing intruding uh, in our home here and uh, you know treating our our, our residents this way this isn't right so you know that's it yeah and 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 the final point then is just that without that video of what was happening would this many people care would this many people believe that it's getting this bad probably not uh stuff happens all the time without video with the kelly thomas murder by the fullerton california police would as, as many people have been outraged by what they saw on that video, Rodney King, without the video. So, I was the, yeah, Pete Santelli for uh, getting here uh, promptly right away and capturing that video. I think we checked it this morning; it's like six hundred thousand views. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, without that video, I mean, yeah, without without seeing all that happen, without seeing this just uh, crazy thuggery by these just federal agents that are just mindlessly following orders, um, you know. So, yeah, so it's awesome that we have some you know media coverage there and. Uh, so my, my, my plea then would be to get out here if you can, one day, half a day, a week. They're inviting people to camp out. Bring your cameras. Bring things that, that are not all Internet-based in case something happens where the, the link is severed. Just, 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 yeah, cell phone tie. And I did have reception, but we were hearing, of course, that it was cut out. Come on out and be an extra set of eyes and ears. Nobody's asking you to come out here and, and join in anything violent or malicious by any stretch. That's certainly why we didn't. Uh, that is certainly not why we came out to cover this story. It was more to be an extra set of eyes and ears documenting what's going on. So, the, in, in essence, that's what I think the, the new American media is because the old American media failed us. If something's going on in your backyard, take your camera out, record it, upload it, link up with other people, hashtag it, tweet them, put it up on Facebook, connect with the other people talking about it, and you have to be the news that you wish was already happening. That's what this whole revolution in media is about. It's about you gathering the news, and you know that as soon as I saw that video, and I, because I'd been pushing Blake for a couple days, uh, I was saying, hey, check out this Nevada ranch story. It's weird. Check this thing out. And then it popped with the near riot, and he's like, get down here. I'm like, I cannot today, but I will in the morning. And I got out here in the afternoon, and uh, out from Los Angeles, about five hour drive, and you know this wasn't my backyard. It was close enough. It was his. An hour and a half away, not close enough. But you got you, you got to sacrifice a little bit. You got to stand up and document things that are going on. Like I said, nobody's asking you to do anything. Just come on out and be an extra set of eyes and ears. Report back what you're seeing. Talk to the people actually involved. Don't believe all the internet tro trolls and all of the, the the keyboard warriors that may have good intentions may just be uh, jerk weeds. 
Yeah, yeah, that's those a, are two good words, I think. <laughs> right. So yeah, it, it's good to just to come to get right to the source and get the real story from you know the people that are actually involved here, and not so much uh, what might be spun or whatever. Hearsay. Yeah, exactly. You gotta confirm the you know we hear the rumors, just go right to the source. So yeah, that's what we uh, attempted to do here. I think it's been uh, a very successful uh, couple of days. It's been fun. It's been real. And, yeah, so so please do us a favor, check out thenewamericanmedia.com. We're going to be posting these videos. Uh, subscribe to youtube.com slash thenewamericanmedia on Facebook. Uh, do a search for The New American Media with spaces in between and like the page. And on Twitter, we're at American underscore media underscore. Be sure to follow this gentleman here on Twitter. He's a bit of a Twitter warrior himself. Uh, and <laughs> you got to you gotta follow this up. He, I, I've said it before, he does some of the best research out there, just constantly mining for data, constantly mining for information. And uh, he's on Twitter at Eccentric99. So for Blake Wally, I'm Brian Engelman signing out for the new American media. Yeah.